Hello everyone, this is Wee, and we'll, today I have something quite special, and I have wireless redstone, using command blocks. So, this is it, really, that's all. That's the output, and this is the input. Another input here, another output there. And, well, it uses the scoreboard features, so you can see I have scoreboards commands over here. And, scoreboards... Uh, has been around for quite a while, so I'm probably not the first to figure this one out. But I haven't seen anyone using this, so just wanted to get it out there if it's not already there, and we'll so you guys could see it. So let me show you first. So I have a button here, and if I click it, you can see that the lamps there turn on for a second and then turn off, like the button. And it works the same with the lever, like this. And it stays on, and when I flip the lever back, it turns off. So, let me explain to you how it works. So, here I have the exact same thing, but with this command blocks and command block. And when I turn this on, you can see at the right hand side of the, of the right side of the screen, I have wireless redstone going up. So, what I'm doing, basically, is when I turn on this lever, I'm creating an objective, if anyone understands scoreboard, you will understand it, named wireless redstone. This is just to make the uh, display on the side. So, once I created this objective, here in the output section, I have a little clock. And this clock adds to the objective wireless redstone 1, every now and then. So every time this there's an item in here, it adds one to the objective. And if it succeeds, then this competitor will turn on and will and it will turn on this redstone lamps. But if the lever is turned off, let me show you, I remove the objective. So this command block here is to remove the wireless redstone objective. So when I turn this on, I create the new objective but when I turn this off, the ob that objective is removed, so it will no longer count. So it will still try to add more to that objective, but it wouldn't since there is no objective right now. So this comparator wouldn't turn on. So here I have the exact same thing, just um, different objectives. So you can have multiple objectives going at once, so it's really nice, so you can have this turned on and this turned on and it won't interfere with each other since those are different objectives. So now let me show you how to build this. So for the input what you want to do is have a block with a lever or a button, then a torch right next to it, then two repeaters like this facing into two blocks like this and two command blocks like that. So what you want to write in those command blocks is in the right one, you want to write scoreboard, then objectives, add, then the name of your objective. This is quite important if you want to have different objectives going at the same time, or different wires. So each of them needs to have a different name. So we'll just name this one name, and then dummy. And that is all. And in the left command block what you want to do is type scoreboard objectives remove and then the name of your objective so this one is name and this is all there is to the input and for the output what you want to have is two hoppers facing into each other with an item going through this doesn't matter which item you put this could be a hopper or a dirt block it really, really doesn't matter. Then, you want to have a comparator, a, com a comparator going from one of the hoppers, then command blocks, command block like this, with a comparator. This is your output over here. Then, you can just put an indicator like this. So, red some lamps, and what you want to write in this command block is scoreboard player players add nearest player then the name of your objective and one like that 
and this is really all there is to it. So now let's test it. So if we flick the lever, it turns on, and if we flick it back, it turns off like that. This also worked with the button, as I mentioned before. Just the same thing, like that, turns on, then turns off. So, that is all. Thanks for so much for watching. Like, subscribe, or leave a comment, and bye-bye.